Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's Oz here and today we're going to try something different which is a game review for once. I've had lots of people asking for one so I thought about time we'd give one a crack. Now um, the reason I thought I'd do it too is, is I've got a bit of background in games. I've made a few Android games and a few PC games. All terrible. I'm not even going to give you a link to them unless you really aren't want one. Um, and also I've studied game design for two years so I don't know if that will help with a game review but it's worth a shot. Now, so this game, Astroneer, it's a space explorer game. It's kind of like a sandbox game where you can do whatever you like. Um, but what you do is you, you mine resources and you build structures and you colonize different planets. So um, to begin with, you get sent on a little pod down to this Terran planet you can see in the, the starting screen here. And then from there, you have to build a new spaceship fly to another planet and another planet and explore everything he can do in the game. So let's start it off now. So we've got to choose which guy we want to be. Uh, let's start with this little skinny guy. Okay, so our space pod is being launched from the space station and it's up to us to colonize this planet. Play this game multiplayer too if you have, if you have someone else to play it with. Okay, now these are randomly generated worlds too. So every time you play a new game and it was a new world, uh, it will be completely different from last time. Now, so it's night time. It's a bad time to land. Now I don't see too much around. I see that little tree over there or structure that that produces energy for us. Um, there's some compound right next to us here, what we use to build some basic things. A bit more compound over there. Good job. I think more compound over there. We've got it everywhere. There's some resin, so that's useful. So we've got a, a lot of stuff to get started with. So first up, in this game you can dig. So you can dig holes, or you can level the ground. There we are. Or you can build walls and towers and things like that. Okay, now let's look around, see where we can go. First up, let's get some compound. Before we can go far, we need to create tethers. And you do that by using compound to make it. Okay, so we got, ran out of fuel there, but... Whoa, almost got enough. Okay, never mind. Okay, now let's see. So let's create a tether. Let's see, it's been formed there. Tether. I'll show you what the tethers do. So see my oxygen line there? If I put the tether, it's now connected to that. Now, where's somewhere we want to go? Let's go over here, towards that mountain. So now we can travel further without running out of oxygen because we've got all these tethers. Hey, more compound. You can never have too much compound. Not at the beginning, anyway. Most things are made out of compound. Where should we go? There's like a some sort of gully over there. Let's check that out. So what we should do, we need to kind of have some goals. So first of all, we'll get our base slightly like working <laughs> and then we'll go exploring and then from there we can like go into some caves, get some awesome materials like iron and stuff like that. And then from there we can slowly start building towards getting a spaceship. And then once we have our spaceship, we can blast off and fly to other planets, like... Where's a planet? Can't see any at the moment. Ah, there's usually like planets around, you can see them in orbit. Okay, so we're back at our shuttle now. First of all, we'll try to make our little... start our space base. So this needs resin. We have no resin, so let's go... I think I saw some, there's some over there. Let's put down the tether. And another tether, and another tether. Oh, we're out of tethers. Let's make more. Here we go. And there's things like, uh, not so much on this planet because it's a starting planet, but there are things like big sandstorms, what could like destroy your base, 
Or if you have a car later on, the sandstorm can like blow it away. Or it could kill you also, because uh, it blows other debris around and that'll smash into you and you'll be all dead. So, um, we're lucky we don't have sandstorms yet. What's that? Did we make that hole? Yeah, looks like we did. What's that there? More compounds. Okay, now that we've got some resin, that's. No, we don't have resin. <laughs> we obviously didn't get enough. Let's try again. I need more than more than like a little drop of resin. What's that? Oh, it's all under the ground. That's pretty good. Okay, now we've at least got one resin. We're gonna need more. We need more resin. There we go. Smoke more over here. We'll go away from our tethers. And we're not going to run out of here. We will slowly, but we should. Cool. We're not going far. Power's our bigger, biggest problem. We keep running out of power. Now, one thing to help with our power is that we build a solar panel and attach it to our backpack. There you go. So now we'll be generating our own power. Not much, but just enough to keep things good. Uh, a little bit more. Okay, let's go. We should be able to build something now. Okay, night time's coming as well. Okay, so one resin. There we go, it's extending. And now it's going to let us build a building. Now to do that, we need two more resin. So this is like the basics of building a base. It's all the same once you've done one. So here, now that we've done, used up the three resins to get this little platform right here, we can now choose what we want to build. So we've got a smelter, vehicle bay, a research pod, or a printer. Uh, we can't really do much without a smelter, because smelters are what turn things like iron ore into iron. And then we can build and stuff using that. So we need a smelter. Okay, see it's got no power, so our base also needs power. So we'll put a little solar panel on our base, so that when it's daytime it can generate its own power. There we go. Okay, so now we're ready. So if we do go into a cave and we find some ores and awesome cool things, we can now take them to the smelter and make it useful. One other thing we should probably get is a research station, but we'll do that another day. So first up, so we'll, I'll build up the base a little bit more, and then once that's done, we will go exploring. Okay, so we're back. Now, while you were gone, I was making the base a bit bigger. So now we have three kind of buildings or three structures. We've got the smelter. So if we do find any ores or anything in a cave, we can now get it refined into something we can use. Uh, there's a research desk or research station, sorry. So again, if we find anything we can research, we just put it there and it does its thing. Um, that's how you unlock uh, new buildings or new cars or new weapons, stuff like that. Uh, and then here's a printer. Oh. Once I have copper, <laughs> I can build us a printer. But um, I can't get copper until I find some in a cave or something like that. So um, let's go exploring. Now I got two solar panels, so I should be okay for energy. Which direction should we go? We'll go in this way. Now I was a little bit excited, but that's not a new cave. Whoa! See that planet over there? Just coming up on the horizon. We'll go there one day. Oh, what's that? This looks like a cave. Alright, well we'll build some tethers this way. Otherwise we're going to run out of oxygen very soon. And lights. It's always good to have lights. Where was it? This way. Ah! Sliding. See this blue stuff here? That's oxygen as well. So say if I came here without tethers and I was about to die, I would grab that and that would give me some air for a while. Okay, wow. This cave is cool. Now let's put a light down there so we can see what's happening. What we want. There. Hmm, once we fall down there, we're not going to be able to get out again. So I'll just make a little ramp for us to go down. There we are. 
Now, in these caves, there are plants what might shoot at us, or spike us, or do lots of bad things. So we'll just get some lights first, just so we can see if there's any bad guys down here. This cave is pretty cool. Okay, it goes pretty deep too. Wow, okay, I don't know if we're down there. We'll come back to that. There might be an easier way down there too without falling. Okay, what's over there? Nothing. Put an antenna there. So what's this? This is aluminium ore, so if I grab this, later on we can run it through the smelter, and then we'll have aluminium. With that you can build things like vehicles or I don't know, lots of things. I think batteries require aluminium, stuff like that. Okay, I'm out of energy again. Power. Let's just keep wandering around and wait for our power to come back. Hey, there's one of the bad plants I mentioned earlier. So these will shoot at me. As long as I keep running and destroy them, just dig them up, then they can't get me. Now see those gas clouds? If I get stuck hit by those, they hurt me and I'll eventually die. And look, I found a research thing. So we'll pick the seed up and we'll take it back and research it. We've got a bit more energy too, so power, so I'll just suck up some of these. Alright, now let's head back. Okay, now here we are, we're back at the base. Now there's a bit of a storm in between too, so I had to hide out in the cave until the storm had passed. Now this research part we have, I'm calling it a seed because it came from the base of one of those spiky plants, we put in the researcher. And now that it's got enough power because of the solar panels we put on there, we can now turn it on. So, ready? 3, 2, 1. There it goes. Oh. There's a planet I want to go to. Let's see if it works. Okay, so we just researched the open three seat. So when we do have a vehicle, we can now put a three seat, uh, well, enough seats for three people in there. Okay, and now we also have some ores we can refine. So if we put this in here, one, two, three. Again, you can see it's fully powered up. Now turn on the smelter. There we go. So it's turning that um, that ore into this raw aluminium. I don't know. I mean, into refined aluminium. I don't know what we can do with it yet. I think we needed copper. Okay, so here we are at the cave. We're going back in. Oh, falling. <laughs> we are gonna fall. Ah. Okay, that hurt, but we're still alive, thankfully. Okay, so we went down there. That leads to a big open cavern. So this time, we'll go this way. Maybe if I dig this up, we'll find more research. Nope. Just killed it. Here's another research thing, so we'll grab that on the way out. And what is this? So this turns into hydrazine once it's been refined. I don't even know if you need to refine it. I'm getting some energy while I'm at it. So that hydrazine, um, when we get spaceships we can fly, then that hydrogene will hydrozine will fuel it. Okay, now yeah, that's looking good. What's this? That's more aluminium, which is cool, but I'm looking for copper. Let's put down some more tethers. What's this yellow stuff? Haha, -ha, copper! And I'm out of tethers, let's build more. There we go. Now, copper time. We got tons there. Oh look, and another seed. We'll grab that one. It's a fancier one. So we now got copper, uh, enough to build the the um, what do you call it? The building plant thing we needed. Okay, up we get. Now back to the base. 
Okay, now we're back. Back at our base. We have enough copper to build the printer. And also we've got another item to research that I grabbed on the way back. So first, put the two coppers in there. Okay, so the printer's being built. Now it's ready to go, so it should show us what we can build. Ah, it needs power first, so it's slowly charging up. One more. Okay, here we go. So we can build a, build a seat to put in the spaceship or a vehicle. And that's all we can build for now. We need to do more researching. Okay, speaking of researching, there's a research station over here. Now this little triangle I found where I was getting some more copper. Let's see what's inside. A generator, good. That will give us more power. So let's see if we can build a generator over here. Generator, okay. So what does generator need? Copper, more copper. Is that resin? Alright, so we'll grab more copper. So anyway, so that's it for this video. So we've done some basics of Astroneer. Uh, we've started up a base, we've built a smelter, a researcher, and a printer. Uh, we've done a little bit of cave exploring and just going over the basics of the game. So if you like this, let me know in the comments if you want me to do more like this or more of this game. If not, if you've got another game you prefer, uh, then put it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Now thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.